So here's the first video. It basically shows how it's installed. Now, if you go with the external waste gate, grab one, grab it right here. Then I'll take another photo so you can see where it is. But basically, the uh, the waste gate's right here. And like I said, I'll take a video so you can see where it sits. But the waste gate will have to sit right there, and it'll actually look really good. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna sit right next to the air filter. But what you do need to do is make a heat shield. A new heat shield. So the one that I made for this, I'll, I'll send to you so you can use it if you want. Um, you might be able to just cut from here and then straight down like that so that you have space for the external wastegate. <clears throat> but, so that's how it sits. I will of course be sending you all the super awesome T-clamps. Uh, these are so much better than the typical hose clamps. I think that I've got T-clamps for every connection except for maybe two on this. I think there's there's two normal hose clamps down there somewhere. But uh, So I'll send all the T-clamps with you. What you'll do is you'll just remove your MAF. That's where you put the MAF, right here. Um, and then insert the MAF into the cone filter and the other side into these clamps. And that's how that, that'll sit for you. <coughs> um, Getting the MAF into this, the cone filter, is a, a bitch. So loosen that up, and I mean, it, it just barely fits in there. You know, maybe put a little bit of oil around it, a little WD-40 or something, and then just work it on nice and slow. Make sure you don't crush anything, and uh, but it, it's a perfect fit onto the MAF. 